Webbing is a lightweight yet strong piece of fabric that when finished correctly can withstand heavy use for many years. I am testing six types of webbing, cotton, jute, rubber, nylon, polypropylene, and polyester. Each material can be finished with a variety of methods. Note that I tried using boiling water and shellac on each material but was not successful using either of these methods for any material I was working with. Nylon, polypropylene, and polyester webbing can all be sealed using an open flame. Hold the end of your webbing close, but not directly in the fire. Sweep the material back and forth close to the flame to evenly seal the ends. Don't catch the webbing on fire as it will create a burnt look at the end of your webbing. Cotton, jute, nylon, polypropylene, and polyester webbing can all be finished using a zigzag stitch. Fold over and sew across, close to the raw edge. I set my machine to sew the stitch with a 0.6 millimeter length to a 4 millimeter width. If the webbing being used is thick and the sewing machine is having a hard time making it through the material, soak the webbing in water for about an hour or so, wring the excess water out, then sew the stitch while the material is still wet. Cotton, jute, and polypropylene webbing can be sealed using hot glue. This method can be a little bulky. To minimize the look of the glue, I glued down the edge, waited for it to dry, then wrapped the end of the webbing in parchment paper and ironed both sides. I trimmed off the extra glue for a clean finish. This method is not intended for heavy use. Rubber webbing can be cut in any direction and is fray-free, so it does not need to be sealed. There are also many different apparatuses that can be used on your webbing if you are looking for hardware to finish the ends. I hope this helps with your next webbing project.